Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Noelle and I review and unbox subscription boxes here on my channel and today I am so excited to get to continue our journey with Bird Moss with all of you. This is the February box that I have that I am finally getting to share with you. I missed out on the January Wolves box because you all scooped it up, totally understandably, but she was kind enough to send this February box to me and hopefully there won't be as many gaps, but I'm so ready to dive into this mystical, magical world World with all of you once again. In case you are not familiar with it, this box is unlike any other. We really uh, get wrapped up into this whole world that she has created and you get fun little lifestyle items. Sometimes there's some bath and body, sometimes there's fun little trinkets or crafts, just really neat things that she will weave into a beautiful and poetic narrative. I'll read you the description so you get a better idea of it and then of course the best way of understanding this box a little bit more is to follow along in this unboxing. Bird Moss Box subscribers say it's like getting a daydream in the mail. With each box you'll receive works of art and self-care rituals that engage all the senses to create an immersive magical experience. Think of it as a package from a friend who cherishes your delightful heart and spirit. Your boxes are accompanied by poetry and prose which tell of a gifted dreamer. You are that dreamer and this is your story. Some letters and documents arrive inside your monthly box and others are emailed to you and she always has all kinds of fun added gifts and opportunities to purchase things in the shop little bonus bundles uh, I do have a code for you the box itself is $45 per month but my code which is just my name Noelle will now save you $10 instead of seven. So I know some of you are kind enough to send her a little note when you go ahead and find the box and you purchase it, even if you aren't able to use that code because there's a better offer. I do so appreciate when you guys go the extra mile to do that, just to let these box owners know that you are finding their awesome subscriptions here on my channel. So thank you to those of you who have already done that and who are already enjoying this bird moss journey with me. I know that this box is not for everyone, but for those that do sort of resonate with it. It is just such a special treat every single month. So when you open it up, we do have the bird moss sort of poem, the sort of intro there on the inside cover. And then of course, a beautiful silver seal and a nice dark midnight blue tissue paper. It says, gather pen, paper, matches. This is the start of it all, when finally dusk begins to fall and muffle the day's noises and needs. It starts with a tug, a beckoning scent, a rustle, the faint rattle of seeds. You didn't know that you were missing from a story pouring forward in another place. You break the seal and feel the skating brush of a wing. I love, love, love that. So we break the seal, we open it up, and we find inside, I pulled the little letter out, so that's what it looks like. I'm getting some reflections here. So this is the theme for February, the locked cabin and there's a caretaker and you can kind of see it looks like one of the wolves has found the locked cabin. It says once the cabin is unlocked and the door is thrown open it exhales tenderness the ranger's touch has left invisible particles on every surface and tool inside stirred by the fresh air those remnants swirl like falling leaves or wind-blown blossoms on tables and shelves snipped specimens are lined up to show the passage of time fecund growth or slow dec decline neat cases are filled with splints smelling salts tonics needles and thread bundles of herbs hang from the rafters the ranger is absent, perhaps making rounds far afield. She monitors the life of the forest, cataloging dra drafts and blights, droughts and blights, and helping where she can. She makes the tiniest of nicks in tree branches to check for a green thread within, then kisses each scar. Oh, I love that sort of the like inherent violence of nature and taking care of nature. It's just it's just so beautiful to me. And then we have our message from the ancestors, which of course is written on this nice almost parchment paper. And she tells us about the items and then there's always these little annotations written in actual handwriting. So I just, I love it. And there's sometimes some little drawings, like we have a little flower here. There's a little rabbit there at the bottom. So let me keep this in front of me as we get into our items. It looks like we have got six items, which is pretty, pretty normal for this box. Let's see, what could this be? Huh, I'm going to um, slowly pull the things out because I do think it's nice to, when possible, read these in, in the order in which they're supposed to be read. So let me see if I can find everything. Probably not, and then there is usually a little spoiler for the next month's box at the bottom. For example, we got this really cool, like, moth 
look at this. It's uh, but it's like in plastic, so like the wings almost move. I wonder if you're supposed to like bend it so it's like more three dimensional. Huh? I'll have to find out. I'll have to find out. So it does say in March, explore the meadow. So maybe this is our little like spoiler, our little moth meadow. I guess you could probably bend it, yeah, so that the leaves look a little bit more three dimensional. It kind of has like almost a holographic effect to it. Now I know some of you do not like moths. I actually have a friend who is like terrified of moths so she would very much not be happy to find this. I feel that way when anything around like Halloween time has like spiders on it. I'm always like please please warn me ahead of time if anything has spiders on it because I have such intense arachnophobia. There's a little envelope in here that I'm going to go ahead and slice open with my letter opener because I think it might be one of our first items or it's the spoiler huh oh interesting interesting i don't know so it does say that we start with a key with a secret but i haven't found a key yet so we might have to skip ahead and hopefully i'll find that key here in a second there is a little bundle so let me take a quick peek in there as well this is a beautiful box though of fun items okay so it's not that either i don't know where a key is Hmm, let me play around in the shred. Maybe it's, maybe I, I just pulled all the shred off uh, and it was right on top. <laughs> okay, you guys, so we start with this big golden key, which I'm guessing is actually a pen. It says, a key with a secret. After a brief search, you find a key tucked into a windowsill. Examine it closely because it holds a secret. It has more than one use. You open the door and step inside. Indeed, we have a nice little pen. How cute is that? So you could even like put this on the end of a string or something. Oh, so our intro, our little extra bit of script up there is the sign of the tie-in the tie from the last box. The wolves asked you to visit this darkened cabin among the pine trees. A lock needs a key. So luckily we started off with our key, which is also a pen. Of course, words can unlock so much for us as well. Speaking of which, let's have a secret password today. So when you come across a secret password in one of my videos, you wanna enter it along with your contact information in the Google form, which is linked for you in the description box below, along with all the re referral codes and affiliate links and everything else. But then when you put that in there, it's basically an entry into a giveaway. At the end of the month, I go through with a random number picker and I select a few winners to receive a mystery box as my way of saying thank you. You get some of the awesome goodies that I get in some different boxes. You do have to be 18 years or older. You do have to be a subscriber of my channel. It doesn't have to be publicly. I just ask you to confirm that via email if your name is selected. And just as a reminder, it is not affiliated with YouTube or any of the boxes that I open here on the channel. It's just something that I like to do to encourage you to watch my videos in their entirety, but also to say thank you so, so much for making this uh, part of my life and being a part of this journey that we have together. So today's secret password is going to be cabin. So pretty easy. So we have unlocked our cabin. Let's continue. And it says that we also have supplies for a bitter vial. Okay, supplies for a bitter vial. So that was what was in this little bag. And we did get a few supplies. I think there's some still in there. It says one workbench in the cabin is dedicated to medicines and treatments. You find a recipe for aromatic bitters. The ranger dispenses this tincture for stomach ailments, but its layered flavor profile can also be used to add balance to a cocktail. So we got a little cocktail, mix some bitters. It says, and then in writing, it says, is this formula from the foxes, who are other characters, of course, in our my mystical land. So there's instructions inside on how to make a bitter vial so we have this whole bag of herbs and spices that she included as well as this dropper bottle and then there's also a nice little funnel so that we can do that all together so quite the kit it says place herbs and spices in jar and add one cup of vodka or one cup of apple cider vinegar cover with an airtight lid shake and leave in a dark dry place for two weeks shake the jar vigorously every few days strain the contents through the muslin bag which was also included, that's smart, into a pitcher or bowl, then use the funnel to slowly pour the infused bitters into the dropper bottle for easy use. To enjoy, add a few drops to polish a cocktail, sophisticate a glass of soda water, or elevate a salad vinaigrette. Ooh, I like that idea. So the ingredients, the uh, herbs that are in there are coriander, cardamom seeds, sage, gentian root, orange peel, hibiscus, and anise seed. And it does say a uh, little allergy notice if you have any peanut allergies, but I just want to give it a sniff because, ooh, ooh yeah, definitely some bitters in there, but 
how fun that she put that together and I love this idea of making creating like I said there's a lot often a lot of like crafts or you know sort of rituals that you can do and I love the idea of having homemade bitters for my cocktails so that was a really cool cool item all right so I'm gonna have to add that to my bar uh, let's see what else the next item is a sprig of rosemary but it's not a literal sprig of rosemary it's this cute little pin this little brooch so it's got this kind of backing on it so let's read what it says about this it almost looks like bamboo right it says the ranger has cultivated a medicinal garden by the cabin's door the air in the cabin is scented with drying herbs pin this bit of rosemary to your clothing for protection and fortuitous luck or pin it to a family member's lapel while reciting a blessing they will carry your love with them yes so rosemary symbol of love i've also heard that it can be like bad luck if you take like the rosemary out of the garden of a couple so let me know if you know anything about that that myth all right then we also got a small pocket knife which came in this little bag which very is very intriguing to me this folding knife has been quickened under a new moon the ranger uses similar tools when checking the health of trees and plants your knife's handle is made of colorful paca use it for sampling herbs snipping threads or working on miniatures it's also perfect to carry in a lunch box and then we did get a little warning in the handwriting open and close it carefully because it is sharp look how cool that is to have a little pocket knife on your keychain and I love the blue and that sort of like orangey color wow that is really neat I don't know what paka is I guess it's a kind of wood because it looks like stained wood and it almost looks like the wings of a moth like the eye of a moth because it's got like the little um nails that are holding it in place I'm going to be very careful because I don't want to break a nail but also obviously like she did give us the warning that it's sharp so got to be careful with that all right open up open up open up all right so I did manage to open it up obviously it's going to open up all the way let's see if I can do that wow what a useful tool definitely something to remember to take off of your keychain before you go through TSA but I could see this being a really really useful tool to have with you in your purse wow that is really neat and it does look very very sharp I think that's such a cool item I love that. I love that. And I love that it does have the key ring attached to it as well. So you won't misplace it. So then, oh, so the moth at the bottom was not just, uh, was not just a hint. The hint was in the envelope that I pre-opened. So we have this little moth again, a wise moth. The moth's powdery wings can carry them across the veil and back. This moth brings you a message from the ancestors who linger around the cabin. You follow their directions and find the missing cub outside gazing at the rising moon. You send a message to the wolves to share the good news. So this is a super simple thing. I have to like look this up because I feel like, again, because it's split at these wings, I feel like you're supposed to be able to like fly it or something or just use it so that it's like pokes up from the top of a package or something like that so I'll have to figure that out if you got this box and you know please let me know and then finally our final item is this one right here which is so beautiful it's a lovely little notebook let me just dust it off I think that's like a I'm gonna say that's like a badger or something I'm not entirely sure what that is down there at the bottom in the corner this little guy it's just plain on the back but it's just one of those like simple little notebooks which is perfect for a short trip or you know just a month it's like oh look how pretty this is on the interior personal data there a constellation as well some fun constellations and then it is lined pages Ooh, it's by Bruno Visconti which is a great stationer so nice lined pages I love how beautiful this is very much sort of the imagery that I think of when I think of the world of bird moss. It says, you are amazed to find a field notebook which foretold glimpses of your story. The lost child, the cabin, the moon. So yes, okay, okay, I see the cabin, I see the moon. The cabin's ranger must have had some insight or heard the legends of your arrival. Take the notebook with you to record your own observations. Hmm, the, the plot thickens. Uh, so then at the very bottom, that was the last of our items. It says, you sense that you're being watched. A rabbit waits for you to notice her, then heads you through the forest and you follow. So maybe we're gonna have some bunny items in the March box, which would be appropriate for the season, right? I don't know, what do you guys think that is? Is it a little badger? What is that? A little, I don't know, a little hedgehog? And then as our sort of, um, mystery our hint for the next box we had a little envelope inside we have a little bunny you guys it's that little bunny that she mentioned 
So the bunny is going to guide us into the next one. I'm trying not to squish his little head, but you can kind of see it's this tiny little charm, which is going to go, I have a whole little row of bunnies that I've gotten in different boxes. They're not functional at all. They're just adorable and sweet. So we got this little silver tiny bunny, which is actually a bead now that I look at it. Um, a bead where it's going to be upright so there's a hole in the top and a hole in the bottom where my fingers are see um, so you could actually use it as a bead sort of at the end of like some little trinket or something but what's really interesting is we have once a now C once B now D so it is the code to this secret message that we got on the back which I will have to decode so I guess you're replacing um, you're just moving the letters of the alphabet over by two, right? So anything that was A is now C. Anything that was now was once B would be D. So that's that's our code, and then we can move it over. So uh, I have to think about it. J, K, L, M. I don't know. I'll have to decode it and see if I can put it down there for you all in the description box. But maybe this is a good indicator that we have some more mystery for the bird moss box. I love this one. This one was so fun. I'm still sad that I missed out on the wolves because I do love me some wolves. But I'm very excited to be part of the hidden cabin or the locked cabin, which we got, of course, a key slash pen for, which of course goes along very nicely with the notebook that we got at the end of our narrative. We also got supplies to make our own bitters, our own little tincture for our cocktails at home. The sprig of rosemary pin, which is very sweet. I love the small pocket knife, of course. I almost picked it up by the blade accidentally. This is the only thing that's like not the most functional, but I, I don't mind little extra items like that to kind of add to the experience and then we always get our little sort of um our little sort of teaser item which was that little bunny bead so you guys let me know in the comments below what you thought about this bird moss box if you are very excited about the march box the march air that's going to be in there i really enjoyed it and i hope that you did too if you got this far in the video and you missed out there was a secret password so make sure you go back and watch and i will see you all very very soon in my next unboxing